to my channel. Today, I would like to share with you this um, new variety. It's a very rare, it's from uh, Taiwan. And um, Armando got this cutting from Three Lucky Mountain, am I right? Yes. And this variety is called Red Crystal. Now they have another one made from Taiwan too, is um, White Crystal. So that will come in up soon. Uh, as soon as Armando is going to have proof and then we're going to do a review on it. So let's uh, talk more about this uh, variety. You want to share with that, Armando? That, that one right there in your hand, the big one? See how beautiful? So um, it's that one from bud to flower a little bit over two months. Mm -hmm. So the same to the small one. So we pick them a different state, four days apart. So the big one here is about three quarter of a pound, and this small one here is about half pound. According to another friend, say he have you know, grown this. They said he can grow this fruit. It's very big, and a um, couple pounds too. And the brick gonna be like very high, over twenty brick. Uh, so we don't know how this gonna turn out. But um, this one uh, from flower bloom to harvest this one is 42 days you say and yes. have a little crack already here so we want to test two of them this small one here and um from from flower bloom to harvest we have it four days earlier so uh 38 day so you can days. see different color there and for this big one here is more a little bit uh darker color and you see it cracks, so it's gonna be sweet on this one. But um, we wanna share with you a different stage uh, between the four day and how different the food can taste today. So we're gonna cut all the two and we're gonna compare. Uh, so it can help you to understand what to stay when you harvest them and you know. So um, let's get started. Beautiful fruit, you can see that. Oh, the bracket is gorgeous, curl and beautiful, so round. One of the most beautiful fruit I've seen for sure. Yeah, I haven't seen too many varieties with very, very curly bracts. Wow, the color is gorgeous. The color is gorgeous. Can you guys see there? To me, it is a. Uh, let me check here. Wow, it's kind of deep purple though. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. A deep purple. The pink and they have a little red tone to it. Yeah, it has a watermelon color. Yeah, it, yeah. It, the texture really has watermelon in there. It looks it, a little like darker, a, but definitely you could see that. Huh? Yeah, they have a little texture of watermelon in there. It looks juicy, it looks mm. delicious. It's you know what? Texture. It smell have like a watermelon. It's kind of juicy, oh, sweet, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. um, let me cut this one. We are uh, having four days earlier and you see how the different of those two. Ooh, that was very color. juicy as well. It's juicy as well. Now this is you can see how it cracks so it's sweeter. Mm, same thing it has to smell warm to it and you guys can see there. See? And, um, they, sh they sure have a lot to see huh? Yeah. I mean, the big one have a seed, but it's, everything when you have the small fruit, it's a lot of seed. It condensed because it's not enough pot. So, um, basically, I um, been growing and cut every small fruit had more seed than a pot. So, um, let me see here. let me have a test here. So, you know what? I'm gonna do the small one first. Okay. And we see how to break, and then we do the sweetest one. Let's see how the juice get in there. Not much juice there. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we are in business. So, let's see here. 
Wow! Can you believe that? Even a small bird, even oh, wow. four, four day early. <laughs> and is that and whatever the friends say, it's like gonna be so sweet. It's twenty point three. Am I right there from twenty point three? Yeah! Wow! Wow! Now, I imagine the other one gonna be. Uh, can it be over yeah. 20 brick right. with the other one already uh, have a crack to it i see 20 point three brick on that so let me clean it out and we'll do another test on the bigger one to see what the different the crack gonna be making more sweeter and the oven so now you know huh you know like when we're gonna have it done right at the color mm -hmm. and uh it's a, it's a very very interesting yeah i wonder if the flavor was affected i wonder if one of them is going to have more tart one's going to be all sweet it'll be yeah. interesting to compare according to uh the other members they they very very sweet very big so i will um see this was you can tell how really soft and doing the hard, harder a little bit firmer mm -hmm. and uh, maybe this one had more you see it? You can see how much juice they. Yeah, see? Oh, yeah. When you're ripening, you have a lot of juice. So let's find out. Okay. It's not much different. Right? 20.5. Uh, the brick 20.5. It's like not much different. But can affect the fruit, going to be different uh, sweetness to it. So let's get the, uh, cut this out and uh, we're going to try this. So what I'm going to do, Armando, we'll um, have the small heat, the small first. Okay. So let's try the small and uh, what do you think? Wow. That's unique. Oh wow. Wow, different, huh? Good. Totally different than any other dragon fruit I've tasted. We don't even have time to chill it. He just brought it in and we just want to do... This is amazing. Test in this video. So it's not even chilling, but it tastes so good already. Wow, what how, do you think it? I don't know how to describe it. I kind of want to say almost like a sweet jelly, but that's, I don't think, fair comparison of this fruit. Yeah. Mm, what do you guys think? How would you guys describe it? Okay, remember when I have my event uh, with Mr. Edgar Velveeta come visit, and my friend brought that fruit. It's amazing. But I don't know, it's unknown. Remember that? I give you one, Cody. That, this fruit had that flavor. Remember the flavor that Doug, my friend? So you basically, say it's so good? basically, like you can taste the Guatemalan flavors in there. Yes. But there's more of an aftertaste and there's a lot of complexity in this flavor. It's That's very good. good, in my opinion. It's really, like, really, really good. It's a half a very complex. It's so sweet and a different. Um, the earthy taste, I don't even taste. No earthy. There. No earthy. No earthy. Um, even the skin haven't have any earthy compared to a lot of Guatemala, no. almost, a lot of different dragon food. But almost like a, a floral. A little more floral. Okay, now let's try the bigger one to see the brightest one to see how uh, different the other one. I really, really like this variety. I'm so happy I'm growing right now. Um, because I'm still behind here. He, he grow a, a year before me, so my food not ready. Probably not ready next year. Mm. Mm. It's sweeter. A little bit sweeter. It has a tropical flavor. Yeah. Very wow. good. Wow. It's, it's so sweet though. Really good. It, this is really good. It's so many layers of that sweetness. It tastes all, almost like a melon, but I really don't like melons. So I don't think it's a good comparison, but yeah. No, it's got a it's, very, very good tropical flavor. Yeah. So, the more I drink it, the more no, I drink it. <laughs> I'm sorry. The, I'm, I'm thinking a tropical uh, push pun, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but then, um, the more I eat this, that have that yeah. tropical 
push punch to it. Very complex. Very yeah. complex. As you Sweet. eat it, like in different parts of you eating it, you get a different flavor that comes out of it. It's like as you go through. You do get you get? Like a, do you get any tart from this one, Kim? Mm, no, not at all. Not at all, or very subtle. And um, it tastes so different. It tastes like you're not even the regular Guatemala mm. dragon fruit, you know. Um, even like my kimchi is so sweet. This is not uh, overly sweet. Not very refreshing. Overly, very refreshing, complex. you know. And this is like the food we just harvested this morning. So we not even chill in the refrigerator. Imagine if you chill this variety in the refrigerator, it would to taste even better, right? So um, wow, I just. Wow, there you go. Wow, I just really like that. I'm glad I'm growing this variety. Definitely a keeper. Definitely, definitely. Um, is That's my, um, probably part of mine now is one of my choices in this um, season. You know, I have so many food coming up. I've been eating so many different variety. Um, Cody been sharing me so many different type of variety of fruit. Armando did my friend Brandon, my friend Doug, and you know, and um, so the other people brought me different type of variety of food, but boy, I'm so lucked out. Um, this variety definitely, definitely is the keeper for sure. And um, I'm so looking forward for your white, white crystal. crystal yeah. So he's gonna have a white crystal fruit and we're gonna do a review on that for you guys. So, well, there you have it. I have to grow this variety. Thank you for watching. Um, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next video. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Cody.